Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to replace music or voice or any background noise with Windows Live Movie Maker. First thing we want to do is open up Windows Live Movie Maker. Let's go to all programs. You'll see it right here, Windows Live Movie Maker. Just pull it up. Right here in the middle where it says click here to browse for videos, just click. And you can pull up a video from wherever you have a video saved. I'm just going to use a sample video that come with Windows. I'm going to open it up. As you can see, when I play that, it's got voice, it's got sound, it's got music, which you may like or you may dislike. To, to get rid of that voice, or music, whichever the case may be, just click on Edit, Video Volume, turn it all the way down. Once you get it all the way down, hit Play. As you can see, the voice is gone, or the music, whichever it is. Okay, now we want to replace it with our own music. So you got to be careful when you're posting it on YouTube or any other media because of copyright laws. So you need to get some music that's royalty free. A few places to find that. First you can go to Google, type in royalty free music. You can see a whole lot of them come up. Most all of them are free. All you have to do is go to one of them and download the music you want. Or, another option is go to YouTube. Go to Video Manager. When you get to Video Manager, go to Creation Tools. And you have a choice of Audio Library. Now you've got a whole choice of free music you can just download using any of your videos. That's featured, genre, you can pick. If you want cinematic, if you want country and folk. If you want an instrument, pick whatever, put it on instrument. If you want drums, put it on drums and it'll bring up a whole list. And you can go through and uh, listen to them if you want, hear what they sound like. I found that if I click on that, nothing happens. So what I do is I click on this little down arrow, and it comes up. Just hit open. As you can see, you can uh, hear the music before you download it. So let's down one. I'll show you how. Let's just pick one. Nothing in particular. I'm just going to pick one. Save as. Just save it to wherever you want to save it. I got a movie maker folder set up that I save mine in, but you can save it wherever you want to save it. Just hit save. After you get through saving it, let's open Windows Movie Maker back up. Okay, now what we're going to do we're going to go back to the home. We're going to hit add music. Once you hit add music, you just go to wherever, whatever music you want to use. Just go through stuff you've downloaded. Let's just pick one. Nothing in particular. Let's just pick the first one. Hit open. Okay, now let's play it. As you can see, the music has changed. If you don't like that one, just click on music, right click, and hit remove. If you want to try a different one, hit add music. Let's pick the next one. 
There's a different song. That's pretty easy. Another thing you can do when it gets to the end of the song, I'll pause it right here. Go to your music tools. Now this is your music volume. I've got it turned all the way up, but if you don't like it all the way up, you can turn it to wherever you want. But you can either fade, fade the music in or you can fade it out. I always like to fade it out so when it gets to the end, it don't just stop abruptly. So here's what it'll sound like. Get ready to save it. Let's go back to home. Say, hit save movie. Save it for your computer, or you can burn it on a DVD or an email. I'm gonna save it to the computer. Just call it whatever you want. Just gonna call it new video. And I'm gonna save it to the desktop hit save it'll come up and it'll save it now when you get through just go back to the desktop or wherever you saved it from and just click on it and as you can see there's our video with our new music I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks everyone for watching